Hey, it's Francis Lamb, host of The Splendid Table. Join us for a special live taping of our show where I'll be talking to some of Orange County's culinary stars. It's February 4th at South Coast Rep. Tickets at laist.com slash events. Can't wait to see you. LAist Studios. Today on the LA Report, kind of feels like summer today, doesn't it? Well, it won't in a couple of days. We have the forecast ahead in the headlines. You know, when you get a lot of rain, you're going to get a lot of potholes, and we have some advice on how to get those potholes filled fast. And we have an update on a visa hassle that has held up medical care that might save the life of an L.A. man who's trying to beat cancer. It's Monday, January 29th. I'm Nick Roman. This is the L.A. Report from L.A. at 89.3. It's like a summer day in Southern California today, isn't it? Highs in Fullerton, Pasadena, Torrance are all in the low 80s. Of course, that'll all change by Thursday when a series of rainstorms begins to roll in. LA science reporter Jacob Margola says we're going to get a generous drenching, but that's okay. It's expected that we'll see a few storms like this every year. Atmospheric rivers bring us lots of water, and we need the rain and snow. But what stands out to me is a blob of warm water off the coast, a signature of a very strong El Nino. That's adding heat and water to the atmosphere and helping to juice these storms, meaning conditions are ripe for one to two hour long periods of exceptionally heavy rainfall. However, the good news is no major flooding is anticipated as of right now. For LAist 89.3, I'm Jacob Margolis. Of course, when you think rain, you got to think potholes. During the heavy rain last year, our roads took quite a hit. LAist LA Explained reporter Caitlin Hernandez says in the city of Los Angeles, more than 45,000 potholes were reported and fixed. Our roads are divided up into three groups, the city of LA, unincorporated LA, and our freeway system. Each department's data totals a whopping 123,000 potholes filled, which is way more than 2022. Now, if you spot a pothole, you know, the kind that can eat a tire and one big bite, Caitlin can tell you how to report it. All the info is online at las.com. L.A. Metro wants to give its frontline staff mental health training that it can use in the field. We're talking about 500 or so people who help riders navigate Metro buses and trains. L.A.'s producer Kevin Tidmar says the goal is to help those riders who are going through a mental health crisis. The training aims to help transit ambassadors and security officers connect people to the county's mental health services. Under the new motion, Metro staff will have a direct line to the county's mental health field teams, according to Supervisor Janice Hahn. Metro is going to get a report in about three months on whether that training is helping. The window opens tomorrow for Section 8 housing applications in Ventura County. We get details from LAS reporter Yusra Farzan. The online application to get on the waitlist for Section 8 housing vouchers will be accepted until February 13th. Applicants will be placed on the waitlist via a random lottery. Officials say this is because resources are limited. Only 3,000 applications will be selected. To be eligible, applicants must make $46,500 annually for a single person or $66,400 for a family of four. For LA 89.3, I'm Yusra Farzan. And we have more about how to apply for Section 8 housing in Ventura County. You can check it out at LAS.com. When we come back, the Space Shuttle Endeavor is moving into launch position. And we have an update on a visa hassle that's held up medical care that might save the life of an L.A. man who's trying to beat cancer. There's so much to navigate when renovating your home, and it can be overwhelming. Deciding on your next project, calculating costs, gathering estimates, and the most challenging part is finding a reliable and trustworthy contractor. Thankfully, Realm is here to help you get personalized, trusted guidance for all your home improvements. With Realm, you'll get an unbiased renovation advisor who will coach you through every step of your home renovation from start to finish. Your Realm advisor will match you with triple vetted contractors, help you with project planning, guide you through financing options, and provide data-driven guidance, local knowledge, and expertise. 
There's even a Realm app. It's so simple to use. See your home's current and potential value, prioritize projects according to budget, and track renovation costs. Realm is the smarter way to renovate your home. Schedule your free meeting with a Realm advisor today. Go to realmhome.com. Mention the LA report during your first advisor meeting for a special offer. Download the Realm app or visit realmhome.com and simplify your next home project. That's realmhome.com. In 2023, big movies came roaring back to the screens and audiences followed. From Oppenheimer to Barbie to Killers of the Flower Moon, movie lovers had plenty to celebrate. I'm Larry Mantle, host of Film Week, inviting you to our annual Academy Awards preview. I'll break down all the big races with our Film Week critics live on stage. Join us March 3rd at the historic Orpheum Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Tickets at las.com slash events. This is the L.A. Report. I'm Nick Roman. The Space Shuttle Endeavor is just about ready for launch position. Now, not for launch. It's been retired for years, and for the last 10 years, it's been on display at the California Science Center in Exposition Park. But as you know, Endeavor eventually will be linked to a pair of booster rockets and an external fuel tank, and then pulled up into vertical launch position, just like back in its glory days at Cape Canaveral. Jeffrey Rudolph at the California Science Center says, lifting the Space Shuttle Endeavor, well, that happens tonight. It's going to take anywhere from four hours to 24 hours to do it, unless the wind picks up. Which is our biggest concern, that we've got a big glider, essentially, the Space Shuttle is, lifted 300 feet up in the air on a crane. Wind would be a major issue. The Endeavour display will be inside the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center, which is still under construction. It should be open by 2025, and you can follow the progress on your next visit to the California Science Center. And finally, some good news about Arthur Yu. He's the Los Angeles man we told you about earlier this month who's been battling an aggressive blood cancer. A cousin in the Philippines wants to come to the U.S. to donate stem cells that could save Arthur's life, but that cousin was denied a visa. L.A. reporter McKenna Sievertson says the government red tape has now been untangled and the cousin can make the trip. Arthur's cousin will now be able to hop on a plane and fly to the U.S. for a bone marrow transplant. His visa was rejected by the State Department twice, and their family asked Senator Alex Padilla for help. Senator Padilla said in a statement he's glad his office was able to assist you with getting the life-saving care he needs. The new father from Miracle Mile was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia last March and a stem cell transplant would give him an 80% chance of survival. For LAist 89.3, I'm McKenna Siebertson. Thanks for listening to the LA Report. I'm Nick Roman. Be sure to join us again tomorrow morning when Suzanne Watley has the AM edition of the LA Report. The LA Report is produced by Libby Rainey and Tiffany Ujiee. Megan Garvey is the executive editor. Catherine Mailhouse, the director of content development. Our engineer, Chewy Mao. Original music by Scott Kelly. You can read more about this evening's stories at LAist.com. You can also listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. You know, listeners like you help make the LA Report possible, so please donate at LAist.com slash join. This podcast is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. <laughs>